Hi everyone, Shreya here from Sukhnia Magic and in today's video we will talk about reversing a spell or the ill effects of a spell with the help of the water element, okay? The spell or the particular remedy that I will be showing to you in this video is, um, is very simple. You will just need a glass jar, you will need water, okay? It can be any water, it doesn't need to be any specific type of water, okay? It's water and a few nails or, you know, pins, which is steel cup pins for there. Um, uh, the big big steel pens okay the iron nails you will need one of those okay and before you guys say anything about my looks I'm really not wearing anything on my face like you know no eyeliner no kajal no lipstick nothing there's only a filter on it and my hair looks very bad because I just came back uh, you know bahar se. so that's that okay but uh, I think people are here to get the information. So let's just get the information and not focus on the looks. So this particular thing that I will be telling you today or uh, I, I won't be showing you how to do it. But I will be telling you how to do it because it's very, very, very simple. And you will just get the gist of it. I do not need to tell you how to do it straight on. Okay. And any background noises you hear, it's because there's a lot of moving and shifting around that's happening in the home right now. So please don't mind it. Uh, now to get on to the spell uh, as I said you will need a jar you will need a few iron nails and uh, it's preferable if they are like you know big big sort of like this size iron nails and you will need of uh, water okay and of course stove or just gas okay because um, basically what this spell is intended to do is uh, it's meant to affect the water element in your home okay so any negative emotions that are attached to or any negativity that is attached to like the water element of your home it will reverse so what does the water element stand for the water element stands for uh, emotions right the ebb and flow of things the emotions the the love that is usually that is usually present in the home okay uh, this particular spell is especially effective when a love spell has been cast on you okay when a love spell has been cast on you or any spell that has included the use of water okay especially effective in those things or suppose you think that your emotions are getting way too out of hand okay in such situations as well this spell is very effective so all you need to do is you take a glass jar okay it can be a small glass jar not this small but like a little bit bigger than that just a normal glass jar maybe the kind of jars that you you know get jams in or peanut butters in right things like that uh, you get one of those jars you fill it up all the way with water okay if you want to go fancy on the water like you know put holy water or something in it that's fine but normal tap water will do okay you get some nails okay iron nails any nails that you have and what you what you do with it after that is you uh, you know set the glass jar with the iron nails in it on the stove okay obviously close the jar okay close the jar set the iron nails uh, with it on the stove and uh, after some time obviously the glass jar will crack and it will break and the nails and the water will splash everywhere in your kitchen okay so yes there will be a mess with it so and it will be like a little bit of a hazard but that's the whole point where like the spell or the curse on you that has been casted on you is breaking so it's a good thing if the if it breaks okay so after that uh, that glass jar breaks and the nails just spill everywhere what you do is you collect all the nails and you collect all the glass and you take out all the mess in the kitchen that has been you know created and you just throw it away okay preferably you throw it away you know uh, far away you just take it away and you throw it far away from your home and please make sure that nobody is present in the room where the glass jar is breaking or in the kitchen where the glass jar is breaking because otherwise obviously it's a big hazard and somebody will get hurt so just practice some common sense you don't need to be in the kitchen or in the room where this particular thing is being carried out okay um, 
once the glass jar and the pins and everything is just out of the house completely it it will be very difficult for the person who has actually cast the spell on you or on the house collectively to re-establish this connection again okay they won't be able to cast any spell like this again on you so it's also sort of like a protection magic okay um again this is a very tried and true tested method tried and true spell and a lot of people have benefited from it so try it out let me know how it's going and another thing i would i would like to say is that be very sure be as sure as you possibly can that there really has been some kind of magic cast on you okay because um because you just don't want to do something that's you know bad or so yeah this is the spell i hope somebody tries it if you have any questions then just drop it down below and no you don't need to include any names of people like even if you know who has cast it on you or you have an inkling of who, of who it might be then just keep them in your mind but you don't need to like put any petition paper that this is the person or something no the spell will just do its magic on its own okay so yeah that's that um i hope somebody gets something from this some kind of help okay and if you have any more suggestions anything more to say then just drop it down below and uh, try to be very sure before you cast these spells that yeah you really have been like uh, jinxed by someone magically okay because if you haven't been then you don't want to you know waste all your time and efforts doing these things just get more practical and professional help instead so thank you for watching